In the diagram, P is the source of a wave of frequency 50 Hz. So P is the source, we have the frequency of 50 Hz. We're told that the wave travels to R, so it goes from P to R, taking two different routes, P to Q to R, and then P to R. The speed of the waves is 30 meters per second, and we want to work out the path difference between those two waves in terms of wavelength. So the two paths, one is P to Q to R, so that is this in purple, that is PQR. And then we have the alternative path is the one below, which is P directly to R. And then we want to work out what the path difference is. So the distance PQR is going to be the 20 plus the 18. So the purple length 20 plus 18, that will be 38 meters. And then we have P to R is 30 meters. So the path difference would just be the difference in length between those two things. Path difference is the difference in distance traveled by two waves. That would in this case be, so the 38 minus the 30, so eight meters. So that is our path difference, but we want it in terms of wavelength. So we need to work out what the wavelength is. We can do that by using the equation V is equal to F lambda. We have the frequency, we have the speed, so we can rearrange this for lambda. Lambda is equal to V over F. V is equal to 30. Frequency is 50. So this is then 3 over 5 meters or 0 0.6 meters. So we have what the path difference is in meters. And we have what the wavelength is. The wavelength is equal to 0 0.6 meters. If we divide those two things, we do the total path difference divided by what one single wavelength is, 0 0.6, we end up with the number of wavelengths in that path difference. This will be 13.3 recurring. That's the number of wavelengths in the path difference of eight meters. So that is the path difference in terms of wavelength. So our answer would be C.